car in front of you, which shows what to do in the unlikely event of an emergency. We have eight emergency exits, two doors forward, four doors mid cabin, and two doors aft. like that I am in Washington DC again I am at Reagan National Airport on my way to NIH and I do not have Jerry it's June of 2022 the economy is wackadoodle his the companion fare to fly on my my government ticket he would fly with me would be about $1,500 2000 at one point so I am making the trek alone I have my giant backpack my little purse and I'm waiting for my luggage and I have a ton of doctor's appointments. I made it to the hotel. When I say I made it, I made it. Like the whole subway thing, no problem. But when I got here, the elevator between the subway and the hotel was out. So we're the escalator, so I decided to go around and take the stairs. Two flights with a giant backpack and my luggage. There was a very, very nice young man, which I never trust young people, but <laughs> a young man who stopped and took my suitcase up the stairs for me. He made my day. My stuff that I got all the way from the airport to the hotel. She gave me a handicap room. Maybe because I was whining about the stairs. It's got big everything. Big space to move a wheelchair in. Big bathtub. I guess that would be fun if I get to spend any time in my room. I don't think I will. I think I am at NIH every minute of every day. But before we do anything, we need to go get some food. <laughs> it's already past six o'clock. Places are going to start to close and Tate is my favorite, but I could not figure out how to online order the gluten-free bread. So let's go with it. I made it to my favorite stop, Tate Bakery. This one's kind of new. Uh, La Map is closed, so I was able to order what I wanted. So it's exciting. study, which is a surprise. I haven't been in that study in many, many years, but they're recruiting new patients. So if they're going to sign me up today, I'm going to go sign up for the pancreas study. For those who haven't seen my other videos, I'm a research participant at the National Institutes of Health. I have a disease called von Hippel-Lindau, which causes tumors to grow in different parts of the body. For this trip, I'm going to be seen by four studies, by kidney, pancreas, a central nervous system, which is your brain and your spine, and by the eye clinic. I am also in a fifth study, the ear clinic, but they're not going to see me this year. They see me every two years because my ears are pretty stable, and that's the way their study works. Now let's talk about the exciting part. There is an exciting part to this trip. This is my first head-to-toe scan that I'm going to have since I started Wellerig. Wellerig is uh, also known as Bilbutazan, and it is a medication that has been recently approved by the FDA for the treatment of von Hippel-Lindau tumor. 
and we're gonna find out what my new measurements are as they come in. So this will be exciting to see if the well rig has been working or not. I say as the results come in because um, they have a patient portal and I will be able to see some of my results before I even talk to the doctors and they give me the news. It's difficult to film here. It is a federal facility. Um, we're masked up and it is also uh, people's personal health information. They don't really want that shared. There are some loopholes where this facility isn't really under HIPAA. Or at least they like to say that because they share our health information all the time. Oh no, somebody left a journal. It's a calendar not very much written in it, no contact information. That's why I always put the contact information in the front of mine. I've had weird things got, that have gotten back to me. Today was one of those days where you think you know your plan, but you don't know your plan. Actually, I didn't really know part of my plan. One of my clinics had emailed me, but uh, they had my email address wrong. So I didn't receive that email, but I thought I did, and I told them I did. So yeah, there was some mix up, but here's how it has ended up being this morning. I arrived at the outpatient clinic for pancreas patients, the endocrine clinic, and they uh, signed me up for their study. So I am now in a total of five studies, four I'm visiting uh, on this trip in three days. That was a little surprise that I had missed that email. After I signed my consent form for the endocrine study, then I raced off to Guatemi and had blood work taken. Then I went to CAT scan and waited in reception for my blood work to come through. When my blood work came through, then I went to the CT hole, drank four cups of water, and then um, had this IV placed, which is an interesting location. And then went back and had my CAT scan, which was a high pressure CAT scan, so lots of contrast. I desperately needed to go to the bathroom. Went to the bathroom, ran up to the same floor for a different clinic, for the urology clinic, and they gave me the contents of my 24-hour urine collection things. From home, I bring one of these insulated bags, like one would carry beer in, or cold beverages. There we go. One would carry cold beverages in this. And inside, the contents of the kit they gave me. It comes with directions, uh, stabilizer, and gloves. What we call the potty hat as opposed to a party hat so that's for females when we're collecting we cut there and then this is the jug and that is mine I bring an ice pack from the hotel I fill that with ice in the hotel and then I bring it and I will leave that against the, the jug once it has urine in it I have not peed in it yet but uh, they just give you a belongings bag you can see why I prefer to bring this um, no one would be the better knowing that it was my urine or if it was some um, hot dogs <laughs> it could be potato salad. No one needs to know. Currently um, I am on the seventh floor hanging out and waiting for my MRI at 5 p.m. I have to arrive there at 4 15 and I'm not allowed to eat solid food for four hours before the MRI so I have not eaten solid food. And I'm out of the MRI machine and this is how ridiculous that I've gotten to the point like I am in a changing room with my mask off so that I can take my medications. <laughs> I don't know where else I'm allowed to take my mask off, but in the courtyard for eating, and that's not happening right now. <laughs> oh, I have my badge for my surgery. Look at my poofy hair. This humidity is ridiculous. I don't know what to do with this. It looks like a hay bale. I am out. Yay. Now I've got a time crunch. This is all the stuff that came out of my purse. What a mess. And what time is it? And look at my poor phone. I've just chewed up the battery. I just ate it up. It is 621. I have to find food before everything closes. I saw that there's a Trader Joe's, but I'm just not even gonna be here. Like, I, if I bought groceries, when would I eat them? I have a fridge, which is nice, but you have to be near it. And I am going to be at NIH 
kind of every minute of every day. Yesterday when I came here, she goofed up my order because she couldn't really hear me. It's loud in there. And so my order wasn't right, but I ate it anyway. So today I ordered online so they couldn't get it wrong. And when I came to get it, somebody else had taken my order and was eating it. Maybe not the shelf where anybody can pick up any food and not show a receipt. COVID's dying down. We could actually make sure that it was the right person getting the food now, couldn't we? Let's see if they spit in it. It looks good chicken salad and cucumbers and lettuce on gluten-free bread. It's tasty. They're forgiven. It's the golden hour, but I can't really see the sunset from my side of the room. I don't think it goes down behind another building. So it just crossed my mind that my results will start coming back. Um, a lot of times they end up in the patient portal before the doctor meets with me. So I'm going to be watching that tomorrow. I had the abdominal MRI today and so we could be getting some measurements back about my different tumors and cysts before I even talk to any doctors. So that is kind of exciting to see if there's a difference from the well rig, if they've stopped growing or if some of them have shrunk. This is my first real MRI and a CT of my abdomen with me being on the wild rig for six months. So we should get some really good measurement and know how we're doing. staying in a hotel. Last night somebody at oh, midnight decided that it's time to talk. So right in front of my door. There are tons of people watching me walk. I feel like the entire Starbucks just emptied right in front of me. I think it was about two when I fell asleep. Which is 11 o'clock my time in Pacific so I'm Someone else is looking at me. It's funny. Haven't you ever seen anyone walk before? Anyway, so didn't sleep well last night. Woke up to the sunshine. So I uh, took my shower early. Gonna take an earlier shuttle than I planned. And I'm gonna head on over and start getting NIH stuff done. My bright, bright and shiny. It's gonna be 90 degrees today. I will be in the smooth air conditioning of a hospital. And my friend, her surgery is on Friday. She has an appointment. Day, so she may be in the building. We might see each other. So that's kind of fun. Otherwise, I'm doing this on my own. It's really bizarre to think that, you know, in 20 years of coming to NIH for this study, that the economy has changed so much that I can't do any of the things they used to do, like bring a friend or family member. They used to give us days off and go exploring the city. And just none of that stuff is happening on this trip. Kind of sad. Oh, but. I had that MRI of my abdomen yesterday and today I should get my results to find out if that Weller rig is working. I was thinking today it's like a game of would you rather. Would you rather have surgery every three years-ish, that's the average for me, major surgery. Would you rather have major surgery every three years or would you rather be fatigued every day and eat nice weather today? Here is my little friend. Yep, I have this until 3 o'clock. A 24 hour urine catch. <laughs> well, my new study had new blood work. I was just in phlebotomy for an hour. They took 11 vials. And now I am a half an hour late to the eye clinic. All the way to 10. I went to 10 today. Here's where we're at. I saw the eye clinic. I got audio for you and I took some pictures. 
Okay, things are looking great. You know, there were uh, at the right eye, we don't see any any tumors at all, and you know that remains the case now. And, and then left eye, there was that one little area that was previously treated, but still yeah. looked active. And now it doesn't look active at all. Um, you know, despite not having the extra laser, and, and I'm sure that's related to the Zulfan. There was one other area that was tiny, tiny, and again, that looks less. Um, apparent today it is barely even visible really uh, from yeah. fan. so that's great so I don't think we need to do any laser um, or anything at all really so Excellent. that's really good yeah no I'm delighted about that and yeah it was a bit mysterious because we <laughs> it didn't look like you had more laser but they both look much better oh. so that makes sense now and then I saw the urology clinic I got audio for you but I didn't have any pictures to take so on Bill fan things are stable you know, so on the kidney side, you know, so that's good. So um, keep an eye on all that. And, uh, and we're thinking, why don't we see you back in about six months? Then I went to phlebotomy because I had to do a pregnancy test and I had to turn in my 24 hour urine. Empty, yay, I'm not lugging my own urine everywhere anymore. And now I'm going to MRI, I'm going to go get my brain and spine MRI, but they could see my back, my spine in the CT and the MRI they did in urology. And they said, I should be expecting good news, especially my four and five. And it made me cry. L4 and L5, I think. So I'm gonna go get in the queue and see if I can get out of MRI early. This is brain and spine though. This is a long MRI. I'm gonna be here for a while. I check in at four, I have to get an IV placed. Oh, and my friend who has surgery on Friday, she came and saw me waiting in OP-10, so that was really cool. And I finished my MRI of my brain and spine. It's time to head back to the hotel one way or another. Let's see what time it is. 6.40, the shuttle just left. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go see if they'll do a special one back for me or if I've gotta take the subway. Let's uh, get out of this outfit. Ah, oh, dinner. I need some dinner. request it. They told me I had to request it if I wanted it. But they were in my room and I didn't tip. And I left stuff out, like my computer and stuff, because I left a do not disturb up and uh, I got new towels. Oopsie daisy. That uh, creeps me out a little bit. That's very strange to have someone in your room when you didn't know they were coming. Ooh. I'm glad I kind of picked up behind myself. Well, I got home so late, most everything was closed. So I have ordered a bowl from Chipotle a couple blocks away and I'm gonna race to go pick it up because it's gonna be done in five minutes and it's a four minute walk. 
that didn't work out last time. Someone stole my food in the time that I walked over, so I'm hurrying. Sneaking out the back where the Daily Grill used to be. I miss that restaurant. Not a lot of these in Seattle. Because we don't have air conditioning. Oh, it is muggy. The fountain and the escalator are closed. There's so much construction in this town. Okay. Customer service is so weird right now. He apologized. He said he was sorry, but they have a shelf where you're supposed to come and pick up your order. And he had them all piled up where he was working and wasn't putting any on the shelf. So I finally came over and I was like, I could see my label, like it had my name on it. I'm like, uh, Diana B. And he was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why he wasn't putting them on the shelf when people were coming to pick them up. People are so strange right now. I mean, maybe it's a East Coast thing, but I don't think so. I think it's a people thing. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to look like, but there it is. I had to double back and get a knife, I mean a fork and napkins. Things are weird. And that was how my day was today at NIH. Check out this video that I made on a trip to NIH before, and down here is a video that YouTube picked out just for you.